This water feature is a moat that protects what's really happening underneath. This expansive system carries used water to centralized water reclamation plants to be treated and turned into new water for mostly industrial purposes. When it comes to accessibility, it's easier to reach. For example, if there is a damage on, on this particular cable, you can come in straight away and do the necessary repair. This is found buried on the road. You need to put up notices submit to authorities, do the necessary clearances, bring in equipment to dig up the road. The underground ammunition facility holds our military stockpile. Placing it underground saves us large tracts of land needed as a safety buffer for a typical explosives depot above ground. The caverns stand as tall as a nine-storey building and can store almost 1.5 million cubic metres of petrochemicals. That's about the volume of 600 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The question now is, what more are we planning to put down there? There are currently uh, infrastructure constraints in having underground developments within our existing built-up towns uh, because of the need to excavate. Uh, hence, our 3D underground master plan has been focusing on the three newer areas. Deng A promises nature-centric neighbourhoods with pathways for walking and cycling and a town centre with no cars? That's because the roads will run beneath the surface. Also underground is an automated waste collection system. It uses a vacuum pipe network to collect household waste that is transported to a sealed container. Trucks then periodically collect the waste for disposal. By shifting our focus to utilising our subterranean space better, we can improve quality of life for the space above ground. Using advanced technology, engineers managed to shrink the space required for desalination processes, which optimises the use of space underground. 